I'm betting there's a package above this. Um, well, maybe not. It might just go to the float. Go on forever? It might just go on forever. We've done it. The infinite mooring. Oh, yeah. Good science. There we go. That looks like a float. Yep. Sun kissed. Let's just get eyes on some of that hardware so we have it on okay. record. Yeah, that looks a lot like the one that just came up from RCM Southeast. So I'd say so. Looks like that's what they opted for. Are we doing more surveys here? Nope. We're going to go get that cable tester. Okay. Yeah, we're all good here. So you can back away, ship move, whatever you need to to get us to the north. And we should cross a cable. If we're east of the cable tester, we'll cross that cable. If we're west of it, we won't see anything. Okay. Do you want to just do like a 30 meter east just to get us away from it before we move north here? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bridge now. Can we move five zero meters zero four five, please? Thank you. Okay, bye morning. Good, good, good. How far have we got to go for this one? Is it another long one? It's not super long, it's like 150 meters. Oh, okay. Yeah. After we recover the cable tester there, which shouldn't take us too long, then we've got a super long one to get back to Maine at Everfield, like we uh, did yesterday. That'll be a couple of hours. Two okay. hours, probably. Yeah, it took us about two hours yesterday. Yeah. Is that when we're going to do the transect? We're doing a transit, not a transect. Mm, not to be mistaken. Uh, I don't think we have a transect. Uh, there was an optional one on the descent or ascent. Yeah, so we might do one on the way up. We also have plume sampling on the way up. Yeah, we might do plume sampling on the way up. Mm. Is that going to increase it? No, it's reduced. Is it? Pretty quiet there, Dave. That's because I'm talking to myself. Oh, I hope you're saying, <laughs> hope you're saying nice things. <laughs> no, just checking that wraps, 6 eight wraps count. Yeah, I got to take one out of mine, base. What is first. that? Jellyfish. Looks like a jelly. Crazy looking jelly. Look dead, whatever it was. It was dead. I mean, it wasn't moving yeah, much, was it? I can never tell if something is moving or not moving because we are also moving. That's true.
apparently something happened on the live stream last night. Like, audio went away or something. I think it might have just been a glitch in the system. I feel like that happens sometimes. Yeah, Jacob? Uh, it can. Yeah. I don't know what specifically you're referring to, but... Yeah, um, last night, while things... So, quote, while things are calm, can someone explain what happened to live stream last night about 9.30 EDT? Weird word verifications to access stream, but not functioning. Maybe then went away. Down, did you get hacked or did you okay. someone mess up, maybe? I, I just think... Like 9 it's EDT. No, no, over here of anything right. yeah. happening with our stream. You, no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. It could have been <laughs> their end, you know. We were we were streaming. We saw what we were doing. Yeah, we're pretty close. We're only 100 meters away, 150. Away. What does EDT stand for? Eastern Daylight Time. Mm. Three hours I ahead from here. here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I pulled you around. I think we were on deck yeah. at that time. It's New York time. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're going to have take... to go all the other way. Yeah, I know. Boom, boom. Yeah, you're going and around the wrong way. That's oh. the opposite to where I went before. Yeah, I know. That's my fault. Okay. Good job. Oh yeah, you can see it just there, look. I gotta come way around, full, another full lap, basically. Yeah, I pulled you all the way around. And then, yeah. and then the auto heading setting, and then it gets, you know, path of least resistance. Sounds like a glitch in the matrix happened yesterday. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That looks like a great really? watch pick me up, AJ. <laughs> Yeah, like a two-day old stale <laughs> bread roll. It looks yummy. You can confirm or deny. The middle is not stale, mm. ish. But that was pretty good. quite crusty. It's common white, uh, common ship food there. The there the go, roll. There. Mm -hmm. The bread roll. Yeah. Roger, I'm still coming down. Sustenance. Yeah. Yes. Keeps me alive. Or do I need to go another one? No, 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 it's not because it leaves us with a half or up coming back. Yeah. yeah, you can you can go all the way around uh, ha another half so that we're opposite because I'm just towing you anyways. That way you won't get pulled and put another turn in because I'm not patient enough. That's fine. Mm. Some good questions coming through. So. For SPL, which stands for Science Party Line, only runs during dives. No SPL during other times. So, no audio when you guys were watching deck operations. What's the purpose of a transect? I feel like I want to volunteer Sean to answer this question. Well, I'm really not the best authority, but... Uh Essentially, it's <clears throat> it's like a controlled method to you know empirically gauge like the content within that transect. So there are many ways to have a transect. Uh, you can do it by distance, um, by grids. Um, for us, we're doing like video transects, so we're trying to you know, do a pretty consistent line in space over a period of time. We go through this defined line at a certain speed, and then from there we can make visual observations where scientists can go in later and, uh, you know, uh, identify whatever might be within those uh, transects. So in most cases, they're biology trying to figure out biodiversity statistics out of out of these kinds of transects so uh, yeah 
that's what we do anyway. But yeah, there are many different types of transects. That was a really nice answer, Sean. Thanks. Thank you, Sean. <clears throat> okay, can you guys guess who this is? I enjoy surfing, sailing, swimming, diving, spending time with family, and making art. You. Dang, how'd you get that <laughs> so good? You just said it with more excitement. Ah. I was like, I need to throw myself in there. <laughs> I'd like swimming too if I lived in Hawaii. Uh, Swimming's awfully cold where I live. My colleague, they swim in pools. Are pools a thing? Sounds like a new problem. <laughs> in yeah, Canada? they are. They are. All right, no worries. Slow down a bit. Not that much for God's sake. Where is the bottom? Did you lose the bottom? I lost it. What? Lost. It's lost forever. New Mariana's Trench right here. Right here. Just right here. <laughs> the hole <laughs> that a fish dug to try to get to China. Sarlacc pit. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I have a very wide range of hobbies outside of my work. I train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I enjoy working out, but I also love spending a day cooking and this baking. This is an easy one. This is an easy this one? This is a super easy one. Tell me, I haven't even finished, but go. This is Jacob. This is me. <laughs> He's been wearing a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu shirt like every day. What? I have Wow, failed. so noticed. Wow. Yeah. Nice. I am a failure. I, I am a failure. Okay. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> when I'm just uh, looking to relax or wind down from a long day, I enjoy either reading or playing video games for a while. When I'm feeling social, one of my favorite things to do with my friends is to play Dungeons and Dragons. So when I say a wide array of hobbies, I definitely mean it! Exclamation <laughs> point. Wow. Damn. Did you see that movie? I did not. The I heard it was quite Dragons good though. Movie. Yeah. It's on a uh, US Netflix. So actually when we connect on our Oh, is it? On our Starlink, I saw it come up, but I don't think we have it back home. Uh, check it out. Oh, wait, our Starlink wouldn't be back. US. I think we have back it on Crave. Mm. I hope there's not I don't have Crave. Netflix mm. over Starlink. Um, yeah, it could be on US what? or whatever Netflix we're getting out here. Our Starlink, Dave. We can do what we want. Oh, your own oh, Starlink. They brought their own. Oh. oh, I brought my own, too. It's like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody's got their own Starlink. Screw you guys. Yeah, that's right. What Starlink are you using? Mine. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> what I brought from home. Yeah. Hey, there's the bottom. Found it. What's your, what's your character, Jacob? Your Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, right now, I'm playing uh, a Dragonborn Warlock. Uh, Drag like the Skyrim game. Sure, whatever Nicole wants. Dragonborn. Kind of similar. More dragony. Okay. Very cool. Oh my God. Nico, our colleague Nico plays Dungeons I wondered how long it was going to take her. <laughs> whatever. You know what? I give up. I give up. That's so embarrassing. What do I don't know, honestly. Just filled We've with got the shame. Back, so are we, is it worth going back over we to the SPL? We got all the beams. Oh, yeah. Sorry, going back over to Doppler. Yeah. I love playing team sports, mostly hockey and a bit of b basketball. If I had more time, I would play them all. I would put traveling on par with sports as far as my favorite hobbies go. Josh, maybe? That was going to be my guest here. 
There's not where's, many people where's wakeboarding left. in there. Yeah, where is wakeboarding in here, Josh? I think you need to update yours. Uh, it's six years old. Now all I do is change the whole thing to just one word. Wakeboarding. All, <laughs> caps. all day, all the time. That's more than one word. <laughs> okay, I just okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Wakeboards. Bros. Sea dews. Beers. Wakeboards. <laughs> What sounds about like, wakeboard boats? Sounds like a song. <laughs> White rim sunglasses, backwards visors, frosted tips. <laughs> Are you going down? Uh, Can you turn on the hot water? Please, thanks. Nah, I, I'll come down for a bit to make my tea. Unless there's a lot of questions coming through. The bottom. It's bumpy. What about those songs you were... Look, there's a cable. Mm -hmm. Does cable mean anything to us? It sure does. Let's follow it to the left. Okay. To the west. To the west. To the left, to the left. Yeah. Saw that one coming. Crab. You can't see words coming. No, I saw them. Lots. No, nope, just one crab. In the sky, like a Batman cartoon. <laughs> Pow. Na 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 Batman. That was a horrible. Yeah, he put he put way more heart into it. You probably watched it way more than I ever did. Also, I am not the biggest Batman fan. If it's not George Clooney or Christian Bale, don't don't care much for it. That's a lot of Batman. Yeah. But I mean, there's a. I mean, I don't know the Adam West Batman, or, God forbid, the Robert Pattinson Batman. Is that a thing? Robert. That was a, that was oh, a good movie. A, okay. Yeah, that's an opinion. I, I enjoyed that movie. A lot of people did. <laughs> a lot of people did. <laughs> I can uh, feel a lot of judgment. What is that? Radiating what is my that way. black thing? I didn't. I watched it. On, I watched part of it on a plane and fell asleep immediately. Urch. I did not enjoy. I gotta give it a chance to get going. It just looked really kind of dark and moody. Yeah, it's too. Yeah, it's, it's all it's no, no, no. All, you can't, all it, there's dark Bruce and Wayne in Batman. Bruce Wayne's. There was no Bruce Wayne. It was just he was just dark and moody the whole time. Well, it's it's early years Batman. Doesn't He's matter. still all emo. No, there's you gotta have some yin yang. It's it's not just. A, it's just depressing. It's just it was it was just over the top moody. But the cinematography and the Batmobile were the best ever. It was a really good Batmobile. What was the Batmobile? Oh. Just a like muscle a car. car. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. it, was, it was ridiculous. It's like a Dodge Challenger or something. Yeah, they got Similar, away from, yeah. like, <laughs> from the ridiculous Batmobiles. It was just a souped-up muscle car. Yeah. <laughs> and it looked awesome. Yeah, very cool. And Colin Farrow as the Penguin is one of the best Batman villains ever. Well, he wasn't the Penguin yet, but... Pre-Penguin? Pre yeah. 
Oh, this cable is taking you for a bit of a Whee. bit of a loop. I remember that penguin, Batman. That's really old. Well, oh, that's you you're Danny DeVito, DeVito penguin, Batman. Yeah. That's, oh, that's there's the another best penguin, penguin that's Batman. From George Clooney, Batman. Best casting of all time. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, I'll just pull you around. I that wonder. Could, that could this, be what we're looking what we're for. Yeah, it could be what we're looking for. Yeah, I'm pull. I'm just pulling you because I'm not as patient as Trevor. <laughs> so. Thank you. Which we want the green thing? Yeah. How do we want to pick this up? Let's let's do some investigation, shall we? We have to unplug it. We're gonna need to put a parking position in the Fletcher. We have to unplug it. Yeah, it's plugged in. Where? Oh, right there. So you can see the there's RP. a puck. We got a puck. Yeah. So we don't have the right Fletcher for this. So we're gonna have to do that. Two arm ops. With the two arms. But then we could have a parking position ready for the plug end in our Fletcher. Post two arm ops. This is where football floats go to die. You know you you know you're cut when you're on the cable tester. Maybe this is what every football float strives for. Well, like, it's not a bad retirement, but let's just say they're not on the mooring no Can you more. Give me a little scope. Hmm. Thanks, yep. Let's just say. What was that? Zoom in. Lovely. So that parking position that we collected earlier, we put that in the front toolbox, yeah? Yeah. So uh, can we dig it out of there? OK, so sorry, AJ, what's the exact order of Let's go here? parking position go... into our Fletcher. OK. OK, all right, all right, all right, all right. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Nav, can you just make a new mark here for us to know, because this is going to be the end of our cable. Yep. Um, when data's back, or maybe Shore can. Oh no, Shore probably can't. But if you make a mark, we can ask you to bring it up later. Okay, hydraulics coming. Okay. Back. Roger. You what would it, you, you like? You call this cable tester 2023 uh, 07. Thanks, Lynette. Yeah, no problem. That's the one we want right there. Yes, sir. The one that's really hard to get in because it's not chamfered. Yeah, that one. That one. It's rounded. Uh, what? It's got rounded corners. Uh, your definition of rounded corners and mine are very different. Yeah, indeed. I mean, they're not sharp. <sighs> Do you want some points for being technically correct, AJ? Is that what you want? Just want you to appreciate that we put the hockey pucks on for you. We get the Fletcher, everything's sorted, and you're complaining that it's for not chamfered. For the record, you're doing all this for yourself because it saves you money. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, you know, it also makes you happy. It also limits the abuse if it's chamfered. That's nothing, right. Yeah. Nothing makes so, again, happy. doing it for you. The, the, uh, yeah. Okay, whenever you're done there, just push the porch out just a bit if you can. Ah, right, porch out. Yeah, let's uh, extend that. Yeah. I think it's the abuse that fuels us, though, as well. It fuels Dirk for sure. Yeah, he lives for it. Which way are you going? Pucks in or pucks out? Uh, AJ, pucks in, I think, it looks like. Pucks in, yep.
Oh, I thought it was going to balance like that. Would have been incredible. <laughs> Would have been incredible. <laughs> Unintentionally incredible. Baby steps. Pucks in there, Dave. Yeah. Roger. Oh. I asked that question for a reason. Yeah. Can I get a wee bit of zoom in there, please? Right of that. Cheers. The jiggle maneuver. I'm going to call it the Dave signature wiggle because <laughs> he's excellent at that. You can turn it into a dance. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about Dave doing that as a dance at, at the rock concert. <laughs> hey Nev, could you uh, bring up that coordinate of the cable tester for me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're going to do a, a two arm operation to demate these cables. If we ended Thanks, with Lynette. Yeah, no If problem. we ended with the um, the plug this part in the craft, that would be the easiest because then we can put it into the parking position immediately. But however we best think we could get a hold of these okay. is, uh, we'll we'll I think in the, in the past when we've had to do this, um, we've had to use the Magnum to grip the epoxy uh, under the Fletcher plate. It looks like it's actually titanium on this one. So, yeah, because we have to we have to be able to pull it apart. I'm not sure that we'll get that good of a purchase on that. It might be better for the Magnum to grab the plate. Yeah, right between the puck yeah. and the. And then we can always pass the the cable back to the craft uh, after. Grab the puck and then just offer it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you can I get a wee bit of zoom in, please? Can I do that? Good. You could also actually, ooh, maybe not. No, probably not. I lied. There's not a, the porch isn't high enough off the ground to do a porch disconnect, is it? Correct. Not high enough. Could you lift off and do it? Are you comfortable doing that? Well, what, uh, so you want to lift off and then slide that thing into the... Not into the porch Fletcher, but just use the porch to pull against, like you do sometimes with Fletcher plates. Um, I mean, it's possible. What do you? What, I think I'd rather. We'd rather just sit here and do it with the Magnum. All right. I'm gonna grab. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, zoom up. Let's come wide, please. Pull wide. I don't think you're gonna get a good enough purchase on the titanium. I think if you're gonna I'm go. I'm not. I'm not looking at the titanium. I'm gonna grab the. The plate, yeah. like right between yeah. the, yeah. yeah. Now, How much have we got there? I think it'll come free if you lift it up. I think right now yeah. it's just, just caught right around. around yeah. Trying to 
for you. Yeah, a little. I don't want to go too high like that right now. If you rotate, it might just kind of kick it out. Hey, AJ. How heavy is this thing in water? Um, this thing is 12 kilos in water. Okay. Thanks to that wonderful football float hat. Oh, no, I lied to you, 19 kilos in water. Do you want me to move out of the way? If you come in a bit closer, maybe Thanks. I come into you, and then you yeah. just close on it. Yeah, and then... Uh, We're going to carry it all the way back to Matt. Oh, I see. Sure. And we can put it on the tool um, bin. So you want me out of the way for that? There, if no, we don't like there. it. I'll, I'll come across out the way. Okay, roger. And then if you come in, sort of center up ah. a little bit in there. Yeah, okay, come in. Uh, That'll do. Roger. Maybe? Oh, yeah, stand by. One. Yeah, all the way around, right? Yep. So the big ones are on the other side. I think you need to... Good night. Yeah. Maybe no, I'll come in more. more. Yeah. Roger. Nope, other way. What do you think, Dave? I should be good Lock to release, job. yeah? Yes. And now I gotta get it out so you can pull that handle, but I know how I'm oh. doing that already. Let's yep. go. Other way. Let's go left first so that doesn't get hooked up. What's this crusty instrument on the left? Is that part of it? Is that coming with us? So that's our, um, what do we call that? A flange box, I guess is what we call that. And so when we lay these cables, they're on a spooler that goes underneath an ROV. Mm -hmm. And the ends of them have to be kind of like connected to the sides of the spooler so that the end isn't like flying free. Okay. So we put all of our communication electronics, I think in here you have like VDSL converters that allow us to 
use Ethernet cables to communicate over long distances. So then when the cable A is done, they kind of like eject that I'm off the side of the spool. So that's why it's in this kind of half gotta, donut. Yeah, I gotta oh, okay. do, but I didn't want gotcha. that cable to drop in there, so I gotta do it all. Oh, I assume you mean, yeah. That's okay, I can just do one a little bit at a time. Stay there. You're good there? I reckon. I'll just look up with that camera. Okay. Yeah, it's just gonna keep giving on the arm. You're gonna have to pull pretty, pretty hard. That does not want to come out. Well done. When you don't have something super solid, those connectors are tough. Yeah. Definitely harder to do with the, with the two arms, for sure. So, you want uh, out, sir? yeah, mm -hmm. next operation is to put that in here. Uh, yeah. We're going to have the cable pointing away from the sub. Yep. I think I saw them tuck in there. I agree. Do we want to get a safety zoom when you're ready? Stand by one. Let me come out of the way. Go for it. Safety zoom. Yeah, those tanks are down. Roger, come wide, please. Okay, so you can grab uh, the connector at its end and we can place it. Um, pretty much as far as you could get it to the left uh, uh, and away. Before we do that, I have a question. Yes, Josh. Is this is this not the connector that's coming with us? Incre that's it is correct. It is not the connector that's coming with us. The connector that's coming with us is currently in, in the magnum. In the magnum. Roger. Gotcha. And so the idea is to untangle this. We want this out and away, and then that way we can probably keep this connector either in the magnum or put it in the Fletcher. Magnum's oh happy, no, we, yeah. we mm -hmm. can't put it in the Fletcher because it's got a cable on the bottom. But then Magnum. we can use the craft to pick up uh, this and be on our merry way. Merry way. Dust cap? Nope. Because we're carrying this. <laughs> I know you weren't asking me. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're okay without a dust cap for now. 
This thing's coming all the way to the service in either with us or the tool basket in the end, eh? Yeah, that's right. It's not staying down here long. Nothing a little hose can't fix. That's my favorite saying. <laughs> <laughs> the Josh story. Somewhere right there. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. And then picking this up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Should I porch in a bit? Yeah, may as well. Okay. We're going to have a long transit with this, so. Well, maybe set it on the porch. We might yeah, want it on the porch. It will go on the porch, but okay. just to pick it up. Yep. Okay. If we got to drop a drop weight, probably best to do that before picking it up. How do we know? Pick it up and fly a bit? Or just, you're just saying to drop one? Uh, 19 kilos? Yeah. Probably should drop one. Drop a drop weight. I don't disagree. You can throw it in the flange bin. Oh. So, what am I going for here then? One of those, any one of those uh, ropey things behind the Fletcher? I guess pick one and pull, right, Trevor? Yep. Do they just auto eject? I've never seen this operation. Oh, you watch. You just watch, AJ. You'll see what happens. Is there a camera view of them? It catapults. The trebuchets them, actually. I should yeah. use the right term. Wow. You pull the string, and uh, that releases a dog that uh, attacks a cat. <laughs> where where are you going with this, Josh? <laughs> it's a room, Rude Goldberg machine. Rude. <laughs> Rude. A Rude? It's a. What it's a ruse. It's a rude Goldberg. Rude Goldberg. <laughs> it's not very it's polite. Really Goldberg. <laughs> it's not a polite Goldberg machine, that's for sure. That's just probably done there, eh? We just pull on this? Yeah. You're good. That's it? Maybe ish. Oh, oh, oh God. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, yeah, I guess we got it. Pulled. You want that in the tool? Yeah. All right. Coming out when you're. That was an ONC move, having the tape slide <laughs> off like that. We, uh, we actually copyrighted that. <laughs> Yeah, the trebuchet is now triggered, so now we'll pick that plate back up at F. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, we copyrighted that one as well. You yeah. guys are just... <laughs> Dave loves that. <laughs> copying all of our tricks. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then porch back in a little. Okay, so you can pick that up. And I'll move Mango out of the way, Will, whilst you move. Yep, let me know when you're halfway. I'm ready. I gotta come up. If remember if I, you what's up? If you can wrist rotate that whole thing, it'll be a lot nicer on that connector. Sure. The connectors that we haven't broken once in 11 years? Yeah, those ones. Oh, that w I mean, that wasn't what I was referring to, but... Oh. I you mean, the whole... The whole his, his wrist. Yep. Right. Well, either way it works. I'm All just right. thinking, yeah. I'm going to swing uh, left doesn't seem to want to come, though. Well, no, nope, it does not. That's kind of impressive. Oh, well. No biggie. Maybe let you just turn it. So I can come down a little there. That's as out of the way as I can get, sir. I'm gonna rack in. I am racked in. Can you come full super duper wide? Yeah, it looks like you are. Alright, thank you. 
whole porch has got to go out. That's what we're doing. Yep. in is going to be because it's going to sit right across the top of that suction so always yeah it's too it's too bad it doesn't turn very well no yeah. i can I, maybe get a bit more on it uh, or you can just kind of if you can kind of guide it under you know mm. lower and to, a little to the left so that it's not sitting right on it i guess uh, the right side maybe you can hang out over the front of the porch We left those fiberglass edges sharp for your suction sampler, special. Thanks. They're not rounded? No, those are not rounded. Unlike that parking position. Did we just set it like that and keep a hold of it? Yeah, I'll just fly with hydraulics onto that arm. Okay, frozen. Lovely. And uh, let's take a look at this guy. I'll get up in the water column and then I can just elbow in on him. Da -da. I'm just gonna come up a little. We're done here, right, AJ? We are done here. Okay, you want me to let you come up before we start moving, or? Yeah, you, ready? you can start moving. Okay. That's cool. I guess we're gonna come up like 50 meters or something. It was off yesterday, yeah. 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 Um, I don't know if you want to do even more than that. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna come up, Dave. Yeah, oh, no you're worries. Coming up. Yep. Roger. Bridge um, nav. Um, we would like to transit up to the selected target. Can we do that on jet pump? Okay. Thank you. Um, what is the max you can do? One knot. Um, we, okay, Too much. Uh, let's start with one knot. Okay, thank you. Yes. Too fast. Am I going to, no, 24. That was such a lovely photo. Nice. What well, direction are we going? Two scientists. Like, um, Doing science. zero, two, three. Roger. Talking right, science to children. In India, uh, for yourself. Last time we did it, and uh, we were patient. I think we let Atlanta have a view of us. I'm so glad that I one brushed my hair and had a shower before Trevor the photos wants. were taken. AJ, we're Wonder heading up to the to toolbox, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Actually, now I've scratched that. I think on our way, we're going to look for the Dow. Dow. Mm. The Dow. Yeah. So the Dow lander, I th think, was west. But we should be able to find it on high pack. Uh, da -da. Is that one of the sediment traps? No. I think keep looking north of, of keep where north. high pack is. So acoustic lander, you can see where it says acoustic mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. Yep. So one of these many <laughs> uh, targets would be, I guess, the beacon yeah. when we it have hit a, bottom. I think final position. In yeah. Here. So that's actually um, where we're going to go look first on our way. Yeah, it looks like it was traveling north. Bridge nav. Um, we have selected a slightly different waypoint, so it's a little bit of a different bearing. 
Thank you. Thanks, Nav. Of course. I love that Mel and I is just studying up on crew members. Uh, we are. <laughs> I was, I was going to um, do another batch of people, them being the, uh, what's it called, our expedition leaders. You guys ready for their hobbies? Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. At least what I think, I what it says on the website who the expedition leaders are. This person loves mountain biking playing with my kids, family, and learning the ukulele. Playing with your kids? Uh, uh, I won't, uh, hers or his kids. I'm not gonna give that away, because there's one him and two hers. So this is, th this is an expedition mm -hmm. leader, mm -hmm. of which there are three. Mm-hmm, yep. Okay. Does Allison have kids? That's my guess. That would be my guess. Or Josh. I guess you so cannot I choose two. You can <laughs> only choose one. AJ chooses J Allison. I guess I'll choose Josh. Anybody else want to stab at this? Who? Who? Uh, Allison. We've got two Allisons. One Josh. It, I know Josh has a dog, so it doesn't mention the dog. Mm. Almost the dog is just family. Mm. Anybody else want to take a guess as to who this is? Although the mountain biking is like a particularly Vancouver Island activity. It's Josh. Yes. Uh oh. You look like you're kind look of Look at all the uh, uh, yeah, many I years of yeah, expeditioning. So I'm not going up anymore. All right. I'm going to whip that off. Fuck it. See what happens. Okay. See. Just keep an eye on that turns guy. Okay. And I will hit stick lock with some forward on. What's your bearing in it? Uh, that one. Zero, one, three. Now. Yep. Nice. That one. Yeah, we're gonna fall way behind, I guess. So we're currently transiting to the main endeavor event field now? Yeah, we are. We're gonna take a little uh we're taking the scenic route. Uh, past the Dow Lander, where we will collect our third beacon on this beacon collection run we're doing. And we will check with the bridge and with Allison to see if we are good to release the Dow, and then we'll send it to the surface and we'll continue on to MEF. 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 MEF? MEF, Main Endeavor Field. Yep. Mm, I was wondering what MEF stood for. Musty fries. <laughs> I thought you said musty fries. <laughs> must eat fries. Must musty eat fries. Musty fries. Musty fries. I've never fries that have been sitting for too long. Fries You've gotten musty. Described <laughs> as musty. <laughs> like the ones in your basement. What? Like, in the, like when they're in the crawl space, you find them like 10 years later. Why do you have fries in your basement? Fries that's, in your that's basement? That's what I'm asking you, Josh. I don't even have a basement. Most do you have fries? Have bodies in theirs. Yeah. You know, the french fries that were in your coat pocket and you put your coat away Why for the season. Why are they in your coat pocket? <laughs> pocket fries. <laughs> Why do you have fries uh, everywhere? Pocket do you fries. Keep your fries. You heard of bag fries. Now you got pocket fries. You're welcome. Oh, I have heard of bag fries. You're right. What are bag fries? 
Like the ones left over in the bottom of the bag. Yeah, at the yeah, bottom of the bag. The, bonus ones, ones, yeah. the extra bonus fries. fries. Yeah, exactly. Now you have pocket fries, Josh. Uh, no, what? No, they're bag fries. Uh, you can also have pocket fries. You can have any kind of fries. Exactly. You're just That's right. You exactly. Can belt fries. You can also have pocket have anything. Pie. Yeah. Uh, pocket broccoli. I don't know about anything. Unless you, I guess if you have big enough pockets. You have pocket ROV. Like parachute mm. pant pockets. Doesn't that one guy in that movie, like, pocket tater tots in his Please pants? In what movie? Better. Napoleon what Dynamite. Oh. Oh, yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. This, of course. What does that DAL stand for? DAL. The Deep Acoustic... Deep. Is it Deep? It's DAL. Is it deep? deep Acoustic Lander? The DAL Acoustic Lander. The DAL has the Acoustic Lander, the DAL DAL, as we call it? DAL 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 DAL. Glad we got that sorted out. Thank you. I'm going to update our status. So just a warning to the front row, the DAL is on a 50 meter wire. Um, so it'll be somewhere between 20 and 50 meters up in the water column, because I think the wire got a little snarled, so we're not quite sure how high it's sitting. But just be aware that it is vertical. Is this just the Roger. water column dive, where everything's up in the water column? That you guys and have we got to take yeah. something off it? We call this Snarl City, yeah. <laughs> With this thing hanging on the front? Uh, well, we can put this thing on the ground. Uh, the thing that will be taken off of it will be at the bottom. We'll be we can be sitting for that. We don't have to do a mid water ah. column. Okay. Grab. Lovely. So we're releasing this and then continuing a dive. Correct. We're just gonna let her bob in the ocean for a while. Yeah. Uh, the weather's good enough. It sound, Allison made it sound like we could get it with the rib. Because well, it's pretty light. Are you putting a beacon on it? No, it has its own iridium. So we're just going to Ooh. use the fancy satellites. Nice. Wow. Does it show a geolocation with Iridium? I hope so. Like, I'm guessing it does. Yeah, but it's, a, it's a beacon. <laughs> okay. Uh, Iridium beacon. Uh, I hope somebody from the Dalhousie lab who has access to that beacon data <laughs> yeah. is going to be online at some point. Um, hmm. Maybe we can reach out to Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. B. Smith. Is having a hot drink or beverage like a common thing to have when you have guests over? You know, like if you have guests over, oh, do you want a cup of tea yeah, or tea. A coffee? Oh, tea, for sure. Is yeah. that like a thing? I think so. I think that's in Hawaii, it's not a thing. So I'm like, is that a thing in Canada? Yeah, well, it's it's cold in Canada. Mm -hmm. in, ca in Canada, um, we just offer maple syrup. You want some hot yeah. maple syrup? Yeah, hot maple syrup. Hot maple syrup is always a good one. <laughs> or um, if, if it's... The tragically hip it's plan in the background. Tater tots. In yeah. the background of our igloo. Uh, yeah. Pocket fries. <laughs> poutine fry. Po pocket poutine. Pocket poutine. Oh, one of my favorites. The favorite. ones from the basement or fresh ones? No, the, <laughs> the musty ones. <laughs> musty poutine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, Canadian whiskey is uh, another one that we offer. And Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Ever had squeaky cheese curds? Squeaky? Yeah, that's how you know they're good. Yeah, they're, they're only good if they're squeaky. Yeah. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Poutine is fries with gravy and cheese curds. And it's hard to get oh. good cheese curds out west, but in Quebec there are cheese curds that are made that morning. And when you bite them, they go. They're and you rub mm. them together, they squeak. Yeah. And that's how you know. That that's a freshness test. <coughs> I went through like I was like legitimately addicted to poutine in first year university. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a little, like a little, I don't know. It was, we could call it. It was called the lazy scholar. It just did like burgers and stuff like that in the bottom of one of the residences. Oh my God! You could use your like meal card. At it. Oh, dangerous! Just yeah, yeah. So it was live like on poutine. Any any time of day, poutine. Wow. I had to look up what a cheese I, curd I is. I gained a lot of weight. Yeah, it's like it's a like, it's like free form cheese. A curd of cheese. It's self. It's like not quite cheese cheese. Yeah, like you just don't put it in a mold and it kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sounds right. It's I don't know exactly the process. With no agenda. With no agenda? Yeah. 
and it's squeaky. <laughs> Is there a place that I can experience this when I go to Canada, when we all arrive back to Sydney? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. There's a poutine place in uh, Victoria. Is LaBelle Patat still around, or did it, I it burn down a while back? There's also an excellent uh, Korean fried chicken place in Victoria, the world's best. Korean fried chicken? Oh, I love that stuff. There's a few. Which one is your favorite, Josh? Um, is it 649? I've only been there once. It's downtown, and uh, my friend took me to it, and it's fantastic, and I'm trying to remember the name. I've been, I've been trying to get out to 649 chicken for ages. It's not 649. It's right by a little jumbo somewhere, somewhere around there. Oh, I think I've been there. I don't know its name, but I've been there. So cheese curd with what again is what the thing that you guys do? Gravy. Poutine. Oh, Poutine. on top of fries. Yeah. 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 Cheese with gravy. gravy. Yeah. With gravy. Okay. You guys are gonna help me experience this when we yeah, return to Yeah, where's the good poutine place? Is in La Belle Victoria? Patat still around? The or what? Is it La Belle Patat. Ooh, well, that was in Esquimalt, right? Yeah. Oh. There might have been a second one as well. But Don't know. That was really good. That was authentic. We're only here for I that can't authenticity. Say I had a poutine. Since <coughs> arriving to Victoria, I have had a pierogi poutine at the Salt Pierogi uh, Bar. You, sh mm. you should go for original for your first experience. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. I don't. Yeah, I'm not. Fancy poutines at all. I'm not. Oh, okay I'm not them, suggesting uh, a pierogi poutine. I'm just saying that's yeah. the one I've had in Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. No, they they can be good, but like. The not for an experience. Oh. No, no, no. I suggest. Uh, there's a place called Le Authentique, La Authentique P Poutine. Yeah, no, that's right still, downtown. What was that, Jacob? Yeah, I mean, L'Authentique. It has a, like, what is that, yeah. the Fleur de Lis? It's happiness in a yeah. yeah, the, the little so flower on the yeah. Quebec flag. That's right. And if you've had a few drinks at the end of the night, oh. that, that's even better. Papa's Poutinery. Oh, that's attached to the pierogi bar. Okay. Breakfast poutine? That's a thing. Yeah. Yep. You get an egg on it or yep. something? Ooh. Yeah, you can get a couple of uh, uh, poached eggs. Maybe even a tiny bit of holidays. Ooh, poached, poached eggs. eggs. That sounds fantastic. I yeah. like poutine that's got, like, smoked meat and mustard on it. Go to, go, go away. <laughs> mustard. Nice sketch. Bacon bits? You can never go wrong with bacon bits. You can put bacon bits on anything. You can put bacon bits on this, ice cream. This mat tonight, eat it. What about some basement fries? Yeah, Looks like the bell patata is still yeah. on that map. Skittles done. Cool. Yeah, it's here. It's that was that's looks a good like place. it's still open. Yeah. Recommend that. Opens on Monday. Let's we'll see if it's open on Tuesdays. It is. There you go, Mal and I. La Belle Patate. It's I a bit of a ways away though. I thought we were gonna go together. Like, it's no, gonna no, be. No, oh, yeah, it's too far for us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what about Sydney? Any poutine in Sydney? I'm sure somewhere sells yeah, it. Yeah, but it's not gonna be the quality that, that the first timer needs to experience. Surly Mermaid? They don't, I'm sure they, they don't have do a poutine. It, they, you know, that's what I mean. That sounds it's like a, a fish poutine. and poutine. chips place yeah, to me. I don't know. The dick. That's not the same. The Dickens. Are those all the poutine hits in Sydney? Wow. Yeah, fish on fifth. Well, you Dickens. Can McDonald's. Uh, still poutine, McDonald's. Yeah, I know, yeah, right? Actually, yeah. McDonald's poutine. Yeah, you, you don't get want that. You don't want that. We doing that unless it's five a.m. and there's no other option. <laughs> Third Street Cafe might actually have a decent poutine if they have poutine actually, there. That's not, yeah, they might. They, they might. do a pretty good. Greasy breakfast, kind of. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm gonna text myself exactly what this is, where this is, where. Uh, I mean, it really depends on you. How far do you want to go? How long are, are you, you staying going in Victoria? Into Victoria? Yeah. Do you want to go to Quebec? Do I go to Esquimalt? Ooh. Well, cool. we'll be. Esquimalt. I have a room on the night that we arrive, which is on the 18th, and then I depart on the 19th. You have a what? Where's uh, your room? Yeah, where is it? Is it in, in town or in Sydney? It's Travel Lodge? It's in Sydney. Surely it's in Sydney. Yeah. But we're going into town. But yeah, you're going to go into town, we're I guess. Going into town. Yeah, if you're there for the whole day, you got to go into town. Somebody warn the city of Victoria we're coming. <laughs> I'm flying out the 18th. I can give people a ride into town, but not home. Uh, I would Taxi one way is easy. 
I was kind of thinking about just getting them. You have your truck oh, near the vest. Hey, we've got Uber now. Yeah. Oh, what? Just I was, well, if there's enough of us, why don't we just get a... Um, a, mi a bus. Oh, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know why I don't want to say uh, it. I, feel it's just like I was going to say, I can... I want to get a limo. I can oh. see... Oh, a limo. Mm -hmm. Why not? There's Wilson's? So a Wilson's I have to like, go home. like this so, so I can no, see your face. Home, but we should all go into Victoria and get a limo. So yeah, might as well. Cheaper than three cabs. I have to go like yeah. this so that I can oh, see him. I see. <laughs> so it's, but then like. We can all wear tuxes. Yeah. Smart. Did you pack yours? I'm wearing it right now. Okay. <laughs> Under your sweater. <laughs> to go to the. To go the to the Yeah, and the poutine. Poutine. What else is another like dish? That's a Canadian dish. Hawaiian pizza. Ooh. What about um, beaver tails? Oh, good one. Yeah. Nope. It's a pastry. Not actual beaver tails. Okay. Yeah. Look, look for beaver tails. They're good. The Nanaimo bar. Oh, the Nanaimo bar. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have a Nanaimo bar. Yeah. How do I spell that? You can get that, that? anywhere. N a n a i m o. Nanaimo bar. Yeah. yeah. Those are pretty easy to make well, so you can get them from a grocery store or any cafe. Not a big fan. Canadiana. Nanaimo's on Vancouver Island. That's where they made it. We sure do. Sure do. A thousand meters. A thousand meters. What's that, a hundred thousand centimeters? What are those donuts in Hawaii? The famous ones. And malasadas. And malasadas, yes. They're so good. Okay, we didn't get this person hiking, camping, rowing, board games, go on top of the usual activities with friends. Or did I already read this? Maybe I read it, but didn't say it out loud. Who are we talking about? Is it in this room or leaders? In this room. Who's left? AJ. Oh yeah, AJ, for sure. Nice. AJ. Process of elimination. AJ. 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 Yes, it's me. <laughs> Is Go your favorite board game? I was really into Go when I wrote that three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that's like a square and like... But the black and white stones. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, I definitely have no idea what that is. Okay. That, that computers recently... Yeah, beat. AlphaGo. Yeah. AlphaGo. Is that recent? I thought that was like I mean, yeah, it was 20 years ago. ago. Probably that no, It wasn't year. 20 years ago. It was, was it? Oh, okay. It was like five or hey. six years ago. Oh, okay. It was one of the last games, like, not beat yet by computers. Oh. And people thought it would never be beat by computers because it's very difficult. Okay. Time to unplug. Where are you going to go, Steph? I might sit on the stool. <laughs> okay. The piano bench. We'll just relay all your snarky comments. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're supposed to put mute, bro. You're Crunch. supposed to mute your... Put it on mute. You were not here, I guess, for the van. Uh-huh. You weren't here for the van intro. We Everyone's ears... Bah. Dang, we need to do a van intro. Um... Uh, another rule is no swearing on SPL. The, the rule is if you swear on SPL, you have to buy the SCF around the drinks or everybody in the room. Maybe. That's what I was... T yes. Mandatory for you to go to my Victoria now. Mm. 
Can you take me to a store where I can get something like this? A thrift store? A thrift store? Or like thrift stores? Oh, is there one in uh, Sydney? Do you think it's uh, any good? I think there's a thrift store in Sydney. Ooh. I have so much activities to do when I go back to Canada. You should try swimming in the ocean. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted to do that yesterday with the dolphins. Or was that two days ago? That was two yeah, days was ago. Two days ago. Yesterday the water looked so on all. I was super down. You should go for a ride in the rib today when, we, when they go and collect the acoustic lander. Okay. Sounds good. Come in like a wrecking ball. What's that? <laughs> no. When the, when the floaty was going up, the buoy or mooring. Yeah. Come in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, like that. Who's that? Miley Cyrus? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. If I say it any louder, then I'll be like blasting into people's ears. I'm still engaged in SPL and in conversation with you. It's a one sided conversation. <laughs> That's like the navigator whenever they're on SPL talking to the bridge. Although I still yeah. like it. it. It's a one-sided conversation to SPL. So I turn on the bridge mics uh, so that I can hear what she's saying. He or she is saying. Twelve meters up. Yeah. Okay. This poutine is kind of reminding me of patele fries. Has anyone ever tried it yet? Did you say tether fries? Patele. Patele. Oh. Yeah, those tether fries. Wh what is this? I've never had patele fries. Pa patele is like a stew, patele stew. I think patele can also come in like a, a banana wrap also, and they like, it's, it's like a stew and they cook it. And then it's just practically like practically fries with stew poured over it, and then like cheese can go on top of it, and mayonnaise, like ooh, or kewpie, which wow. is what we have in the mess right now. If y'all didn't know, those 
containers with the mayonnaise in it. Yeah, that it's have like this, like the silly face. Oh, kewpie, yeah. Kewpie. That, yeah, that's, that's Japanese mayo. Japanese mayo. That's What's what we have. Like? I haven't tried it yet. Mm. Is this kind of like stew? It's like stew on fries, but it'll be like ground beef. And then like in, in the stew, there's like um, a traditional one would have like green banana and it's cooked and olives. Let me look what's inside of patele stew. Um, this recipe involves pork butt diced, garlic salt, gown band, oh, sa I don't know what this is, sazon? Wow, I'm horrible. Uh, fresh garlic, finely chopped, white onion, largely the kind. What is this word? Archiot powder? Crushed red chili flakes. You, you guys can now see that I've never made this. All I do is eat it. <laughs> Tomato sauce. Green bananas. You don't have to know what's in it to enjoy eating it. I know. Wait, is it green bananas or is it like plantain? I'm pretty sure it's green bananas. But uh, I could be wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if people use okay. plantain also. Okay. Black olives. A bunch of cilantro on top. Patele stew. Mm. Welcome to SPL, Megan. All right, buddy.
What time is he using here? What time is he using? Uh, I messed that up. What did I do? I meant to put, I put 11.23, but what did I mean to put? Uh, when did I take that? That was an hour ago, so, no, two hours ago? Okay, so we'll go with 12.23. Uh, no. Uh, oh, I see, okay. Yeah, it's confusing. Yeah, we were using non-UTC for a long time. Dive 170. Oh. This is dive 180. Uh, this is dive, yeah, 1980. Although I, I don't 179. know. 179. I did fill in the line on that 170 sheet. That was my last fill. Good eye. There you go. Uh, okay, you guys ready for the next list of hobbies for you guys to guess who it is? Sounds like a yes. I enjoy running, cycling, and practicing yoga. I've recently started spending lots of time gardening. Go. I think I know. Okay. <laughs> We've got one guess. Jacob, who do you think it is? Who, who in the... Who, what pool the, is this? This is a pool of expedition leaders. Expedition leaders? Oh, what did Dave say Allison? That would have been yeah. my guess, yeah. Okay, we've got two Allisons. Say it again. Okay, I enjoy running, cycling, and practicing yoga. I've recently started spending lots of time gardening. I so, guess. Megan, you're new to this, but we we went through everybody in the van, and now we're going to expedition leaders. Yep, we're naming the hobbies, and we have to guess who it is. It's gotcha. It, it pretty much is between you and Allison. Pretty much at this point. Because we already did chalk <laughs> as an expedition leader. I'm going to guess Megan. Okay, got one, Megan. I feel like I shouldn't have a guess. Yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Sean, who do you think it is? Mm, yeah, I'm going to go Megan too. Ooh, tiebreaker. Oh, I'm going to go off the map here. I'm going to go with the captain. Mm. You're going to go off the count. Off the map. Go with, I guess is, the captain. Well, there's two Allison and two Megan, so I'm not understanding what you're saying. I'm, my guess is the captain. Oh, it's the captain. Yeah. He doesn't have a profile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still going with him. Okay. <clears throat> That was pretty fun during our boot camp, and Captain Pavel had his own boot ca camp uh, going. Yeah, he has his own boot camp every day, I think. Wow, that's an everyday <laughs> thing. And it's a thousand pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what, what it would be like if we had a boot camp run by Pavel one day. Uh, we'd all be doing a lot of bicep pull-ups. <laughs> he does bicep pull-ups? Well, you know, this the chin-ups, chin I guess. He doesn't yeah. do the wide arm ones? I don't think he does the lat. Where does he do them? There's, he's got a bar welded on outside of By the, the bridge. Uh, the bridge, right? right on the <laughs> Drum roll, please. It's Megan. Gardening? Tell us more. <laughs> well, it's like that classic, like, I just moved to Victoria, so I started gardening. Well, I moved to Victoria right at the beginning of the pandemic, mm. and I bought a house with a beautiful garden. Mm. And when I say gardening, I mostly mean I pull weeds, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> try to not kill the beautiful garden that you bought? I, I try to not oh, kill no, things, and I pull weeds. Uh, well, how's it going for you? What's up? I don't know. Hit and miss. 
<laughs> it's now three years later, right? Because that was written in 2020. Correct. Right yeah. when you started, right when you moved. Thank you, Nicole. The garden is still beautiful, but it's a bit unwieldy. Atlanta. Unwieldy is fine. I think it's just because we're we're. I've started. A bunch of different depths. Oh, they're talking. Sorry. Are you guys okay over there on the front row? Uh, stand by. Standing by. Or the ship's just going too fast. That's what's going on. I couldn't keep what's up. What's the ship up? Hold on. Let me. This is like my third picture of it. Like this. Yeah, we're we're motoring like Well we either have to get them to slow down or we just get dragged. But I haven't really got permission from Trevor for that, so let's yes please. Lynette, can we get them to slow down? Yes please. sticks ahead yeah pulling too hard too strong a current that's why the Atlantis coming around like yeah. that yeah at point seven I should be able to get ahead of you oh this auto heading is going to <coughs> nuts. I can't come until we're both level like just let me get past you there Dave and then yeah. Res percentage, where the hell's that? Ah. Okay, now I'm pulling ahead slow. Good catch. Okay, Dave, you can start turning Atlanta back to do the where I'm just pulling you again. Did you come back level with you? Uh, I meant turn the head so that, uh, cause I'm about to pull you around and I don't want to pull you around the wrong way. I don't know which way you have to turn. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, wait, as long as we come up with a, well, you want a negative you, you a half, take right? You just want to come around the opposite way you just did, I guess. Cause that, I don't, if you come around the wrong way, you'll put a wrap in my tether. I can see you. Yeah, other way. Here we go. I basically want to come around 180, don't I? Yeah, and then take auto head off because I'll just pull you. Yeah. If it will stay there, it will with the well. They slowed down, and I got full forward on now. So, okay, you can take auto head off, David. Yep, there we go. Lovely, thank you. There's a 20 meter separation there, which I think is plenty for doing this kind of thing. Beautiful.
Okay. You guys ready for the next person? Sure. So the next person doesn't actually have a profile. She, I, I'm going to go bother her to make herself one so that I can read her hobbies in the well, future. What, you're just going to make this one up? Nice. Ooh. I like that. I can, um, I feel like someone just like wrote a little biography about her. I'll wait for Nav to finish their discussion. I feel like you guys already know who it is though. So I'll talk about her degrees. MS degree in marine geology from the University of Florida and a BA in human ecology from the College of the Atlantic. Those are all the degrees that I can read at this moment. Was well, that not, not enough? You need more degrees? Yeah, you need at least six. Yeah. person they don't have a profile they don't answer the same questions that we all have to answer <laughs> I'm gonna bother her to make one though and then we'll see if she actually does it or not is she a expedition leader <coughs> yes yes she is well there's only one left isn't there mm -hmm. yeah how come she doesn't have to do what we have to do because she's the boss I suppose so if you're the CEO, you can do whatever you want. Maybe she started at, at a time where you didn't have to make a profile. That sounds more accurate. Oh, gee. Can't believe you just said she was old. <laughs> oh. I didn't say it. You did. You're recorded in saying it. This stuff is recorded, but it's not highlighted unless I push highlight. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to tell her what you said anyway. I can write down a time code pretty easily. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone's going for me. <laughs> Sean can highlight it in our system, <gasps> and then it's in the archive for <laughs> Yes, I could. Would you like that? <laughs> so there's a question coming in from the website. <laughs> Change the subject. <laughs> What were those big orange balls that were being deployed and recovered from the deck yesterday afternoon, evening, before ROV launch? Those, those were sun-kissed balls. They were just big floats, but they were attached to moorings, which had a bunch of <laughs> instrumentation on it. So, oh, man. not just the big orange balls, but you could, you know, I guess those are the most obvious you could see. Thank you, Sean. Might I add that those balls that you're seeing de being deployed yesterday and recovered are the ones that we were looking at this morning during this dive, except for one giant one that we kept, we like brought it back on deck. Uh, are you talking about the mooring we recovered? I'm talking about the one that was put at place at the end of the mooring and then like you guys lifted it back up and took it off and then brought it up onto the table tub deck. Mm. It's quite the dance on the back there. Yeah, I bet. I keep on reaching for this phone as if it's mine, but it's not.
How is that possible? Uh, right. What am I doing? Auto dip. That's a good question. Oh, because the ship slowed down. I'm just wondering, no, wondering why it's... Well, it's you, you're... What's up? That's all right. I'm just thinking back to front, that's all. As you do. I have a request. Have we got to oh, run here? Sorry. Sorry, Lauren. Lynette. Lynette. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ship's there. Yeah. We got 500 meters to go. Uh, oh, wow. Slowly coming in. We're maintaining depth, but not altitude, right? Does seem yeah. like that. I can switch it to. That's <coughs> yeah, okay. It's not not like we're going to. Well, mind you, that's just dropped pretty quick, can't it? Yeah. It'll be all right. If we get within three meters, we can change it. Yeah. Do a flyby. <laughs> Negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. <laughs> Can I make a request? To who? Lynette. Oh. Uh oh. What's up? Um, I'm wondering and hoping um, if we could pull up one of your screens on satellite feed three, and you could like explain what we're looking at. Which screen? Mm, there's that one. What? Which one? I know the one that you're looking at. Is this called High Pack, the one that you have in front of you with the yellow and orange colors? Yes, that is High Pack. Mm. I can throw that up. Is that okay? Right is that yeah, a thing? Yeah, sure. Okie dokie. Thank you. Yep. Stitched up. Okay, it's up. Oop, wrong one. Oh, buttons it and was. buttons. So many buttons. Not yet. It's okay. not on satellite feed yet. Okay. Stand by. Yep, I hit a wrong button. Apologies. It's a lot of screens, I see. Yep. And then as that screen is coming up, there I'm quick question Problem for solved. Jacob. Do you think I should get a sound bite of this, or it's okay? No need. Never hurts. Never hurts. I like that. Cool. Okay. Take it away, Lynette. Okay. <coughs> for the small and I. Um, yeah, so the high pack screen um, is one of the tools that we use for navigation. Um, so there's a few different things in here. We have base maps with bathymetry. Uh, that's sort of the orange and yellow that you see in the background. Um, and also the blue um, is kind of a more high res version of a specific area. Uh, we have a lot of targets dropped in here, which is the text that is over everything. So this is keeping track of where instruments are on the seafloor, where things have been deployed, um, things like that. And then we also have the ship and the ROVs in here as well, and their positions are updated in real time. So um, at kind of the center of the screen in pink, we have the ship, and you can see trailing behind um, our yep. two small icons 
Um, one of them is Hercules, one of them is Atalanta. So this is just a way for us to keep track of where things are relative to the bathymetry and um, the instruments that we have on the seafloor. Thank you. You're welcome. That was very concise. Short and concise. Are we going to stop at the Dow thing? Or is that like still may or may not be happening? We're still going toward the Dell. Last mm. time I checked. Or the area where Dell is supposed to be. Cool. Thank you. We're getting closer. We're in the big wall of text now, so mm. we're near waypoints. Yep. Well, I, sh I should say the ships in the big wall of text were still kind of <laughs> lagging. So is that, uh, is that Argus? I mean, Atalanta, or is it? Uh, so. I have a feeling it's. I think the Atalanta. one. The one with the lines coming off it, like the three lines. I think that one's Hercules. Mm. And the one behind it, I think, is Atalanta. I think. Cool. Thank you, Jacob. You're welcome. Teamwork makes the dream work.
quick wash change it video. Oh, sure. That sounds good. It was the same as my Rudy was born joke, but you forgot it. I texted you and you're like, I don't get it. We were in the van and we were working. 
and Dirk was like, are you ready? And I was like, Rudy was born. <laughs> One of my better ones, I think. So, no, I was, I was just disappointed it didn't, it didn't impact you as much as I thought it did. But it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I guess we should get to the bottom, eh? Soon ish. Let's get to the bottom of this, hey? Hey. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. Thanks for asking. breakfast. Oh, you know. Yeah, I do know. Well, actually, I don't today, but... Yeah, you don't know today. I will. You will. You'll know. You'll... Oh, you'll know. How was breakfast? Oh, you'll know. Are you, uh... Or work? I'm not coming up. Okay. But I'm also not going down yet. But Kay. I guess I will. Time to go down. Roger. <coughs> Let's put all my thrust on every thruster. Good idea, yeah. That'll up my volt amps. Good morning, y'all. How's it going? Hello. Hey, y'all. Excellent. Hey. Um, where where are we at? I know we're transiting. Oh, we're in the control van. Oh, really? Oof. Great. You are tired. Um, have we stopped at the deep acoustic lander yet? Not yet. We are we on are still the on our way. Yeah. Okay, just checking. The ship is getting close. Atlanta is trailing by a bit. <laughs> 